Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. My upload schedule is kind of all over the place this week because I just started my job and it's kicking my butt and I didn't get back home till like 9 o'clock tonight. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I'm trying to get at least a video out a day even if it's not the video it's supposed to be in. Coder's the easiest ones to edit so you could be more lucky. <laughs> But thank you all for watching. I don't know why I'm saying thank you at the beginning. I'm so tired. And I will be with you in my real... Non you know what I'm trying to say. The actual recording is going to start in a second. Bye. And now I, I... I would like to go... To tattoo in, but I don't think I'm a big enough level. Manon. Dantooine's where I'm at. Kashik, we're done with Kashik. Have we been to Yavin? Where do I... What was that one? Um, Manon. Okay, we'll go to Manon. It was an innocent comment. Manon, have I been there? I don't think so. Let's go! These scenes are so cool. Are we back? Okay. Did I miss the dream sequence or is that it? Cause it, it tabbed out for me for some reason. Wow, this is cool. Okay, that was it, good, okay. This is a really cool looking place. I love traveling to different planets. This planet is fun, you like this one? Pog Champ. Uh-oh. You felt it, yes. Okay. Another vision? The Force continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revenant Malak. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manon is covered by nothing but vast oceans. Oh, man, I'm so excited! This one looks cool. I don't have time for your visions. Uh, maybe the land was once above the surface. It is possible. The melting of polar caps or a cataclysmic earthquake could have buried the land beneath the waves eons ago. Records from that time are incomplete. The ocean floor is vast, and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkarth. But how could Revan and Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. <sighs> I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Yay! Sharks! Sharks, sharks, sharks! Cute little baby sharks! Left shark, specifically. I was gonna... Oh, I can't. I was gonna I was gonna try to change free and bastardless inventory, but I can't. Actually, does anybody have any info on this world? Yes, what's on your mind? Oh, I could ask him. What do you know about Raven and Melek? Have I asked him that before? To think that I once looked up to these two as the best that humanity had to offer. No, I'd like nothing more than to put a blaster to both their heads. Although I suppose that only Malik is left, isn't he? Turned on his own master. Not, not that Revan didn't have it coming. <laughs> Typical for their kind, I guess. You knew them personally? No, not personally. <coughs> they aided the Republic during the Mandalorian Wars. They were heroes. Without them, the Mandalorians would have finished us for certain. In the fleet, we didn't see much of the Jedi. 
And I only met Malik once, but I was impressed by him. I guess that just shows how much the dark side can change someone. How did they get away with all this? Well, when they returned from wherever they went, they, they had an entire fleet with them. Nobody knows where they got the ships. They had a lot of them. And as the years have passed, there always seems to be more and more, while our forces dwindle. Did they really get away with it, though? Revan was betrayed by Malak, and Malak hasn't won. In the end, the dark side won't help him. That's optimistic. Do you know why they turned to the dark side? Nobody does. When they left after the Mandalorian Wars ended, they were Jedi. When they returned, they were something else. What do you know about the dark side? I, uh... I used to think that it was a fancy name for something that I see every day. And corruption is everywhere. People are greedy and stupid and do horrible things. I'm starting to think it's different for the Jedi, however. That there's this evil watching them, waiting for its chance. You have so much courage and strength in you, yet somehow... I have no trouble imagining it differently, like the flip side of a coin. It's not just you, it's Bastila as well. She's so intense. And I don't pretend to know much about the Force, but I know evil. Hmm. I'm not falling to the dark side, Karth, and I won't. No? I know how people change. I remember how Malak looked and acted before his return. And I bet the old Malak discounted the possibility that he would ever fall as well. Well, neither you nor Bastila are fully trained on how to handle your power. I'm just concerned at what oh. might come. Oh my gosh. That's sweet. I didn't know you cared. Oh, and that's not what I... Nah. I mean, I've, I wouldn't want to see you hurt. Either of you. I suppose finding the star maps is more important than your training and your safety. I, I just hope there isn't a price for you to pay. That's so sweet. Car, that's so sweet. Karth is worried about you and Bastila. He's afraid the temptation of the dark side might destroy you both. He could be right. Or he could, or he could just be a typically overprotective male. <laughs> oh, yes, Bioware. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He thinks us women can't handle it. Karth, we got, we got, more, we got more gumption than you gave us credit for. This is a moment where I was false for it. Well, <laughs> no! Karth bashed on you! Threesome! You know what? Why not? Let's just do it. Minon. Any ancient relics or ruins will probably be below the surface. It's so cool. I'm so excited. Let's see. Do we have anything? How can I help? Uh. Have I asked this? Why did the council send me with you on this mission? Why? I could not accomplish this on my own. I need the aid of others, especially one who is strong in the Force. The bond between us made you a natural choice. Besides, the events on Taurus prove that the Force wanted to bring us together for this mission, and there is little left to chance when the Force is involved. Is that not enough for you? Hmm... Just seems odd they would send me off without a master to guide me. I admit, there were times that I wondered if this is more than just a mission to stop Malak. There were times when I wondered if this was also a way for the Council to test my own abilities. I get the feeling that there's more going on than I know. I wondered if the Council wanted to see how I would help and guide you on our quest. I wondered if they were testing me to see if I was ready to become a Jedi Master myself. And then I realized how foolish such thoughts were. As the Council explained, sending a Master in our group would only have drawn unwanted attention from the Sith. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. The Council would not risk it merely to test me. They calculated the risks, and in the end chose the only option available. Yeah, I don't think you send somebody out to test their ability to train somebody with somebody who's untra- Like, you know, like, you don't- you don't test someone to see if they're good at training by, like, throwing them out into the void with some random uh, person and say, hey, hopefully you don't destroy this other person while you try to train them, and then we'll see if you're a good Jedi Master or not. I guess that makes sense. You must learn to trust in the wisdom of the Council. Your destiny will come when it's appointed time. You mustn't be so impatient. I wasn't being impatient! Ha 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 ha! You're the one who thought this was a big audition for Masterhood! 
Must you be so frustrated? <laughs> I admit, I had a moment of foolish pride, but I'm over it. Now I am focused on my true responsibilities. Oh, she's getting snarky. I'm simply trying to help you and complete this mission, and yet you battle me at every turn. Nuh-uh. What can I say? It's fun. Fun? Fun? <laughs> Driving me insane is your idea of a good time? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> She's getting angry at me. Oh man. Light up. Uh, I'm only joking. Or uh, it's either remember your self control or lighten up. I'm only joking. I must admit, I simply don't know how to deal with someone like you. I don't know if I should be outraged that you keep joking <laughs> about serious matters, or if I should be grateful that you can always lighten the mood. Come, on, come, let's move on. There's much to be done. Yeah! <laughs> Poor Bastula, she wants me so bad. <laughs> she can't have me. Oh, that's cute. That was funny. She got actually angry. I think that might be part of it, like becoming her friend or maybe it's not. But like, you gotta kind of like break her out of her shell a little bit, maybe. Maybe a little bit, you know? Be like, hey, you know what? It's okay. Just. <laughs> You can lighten up, you can have a sense of humor sometimes. Not being a Jedi isn't always gloom and doom, you know? You want the squirrel? Can't handle the squirrel, especially when I tease her and she doesn't like it. Okay, let's bring you. And. Uh, I kind of want to bring. I want to bring these two. I can be your devil or your ankle. <laughs> Time to level people up. And you need to level you up. Let's see. He wants. A lightsaber dude so I should up his strength uh, or if we do that it ups his modifier yeah that's fine treat injury uh, feats Master Force Focus and Master Sense. Whoa. Oh, okay. Plus four to the difficulty class for all saving throws against the character's force powers. Wow. Can I get that? Plus six to defense. Wow. Okay. Get a maybe bonus to lightsaber or let's see. Can we nope? Uh healing isn't in this one. Healing's in the next group. Three and a half hours of stream and we basically did a couple side quests, but we did them we did them very well. I don't actually know how I could go faster. Oh uh, let's just up is uh yeah actually let's do that power yeah here you have that one too okay level up definitely your strength skills uh, demolition and repair, I guess. Feet. Battle droid logic upgrade. He uses guns. Fully experienced with the rigors of combat, the droid is able to self-upgrade its tactical reasoning and maximize its defensive potential. His feet grants plus six to defense and is always active. Nice. Further fortified against damage. 
I don't know what they I don't know what the droid has if he has blaster rifle or blaster pistol equipped I could give him heavy weapons that wouldn't be bad or I could give him another offensive ability because I don't really have any sniper sure <gasps> Hello, doggy. Yeah. Wow, all of these abilities require like a minus. Do like a big old minus. I know, right? Why can't he just repair himself? <laughs> Upgrade the killer droid. What could possibly go wrong? I'll give him a sniper feat. Everything will be just fine. Hmm? Mm hmm Wait, let's make sure. Oh, da, da, da. What do you have? Oh, you do have the Mandalorian assault rifle. Cool. Okay, you don't have a two-handed capability. You have a flamethrower, a shield disruptor. I don't have anything for that. And I don't have anything for that. How do I get these for my droid? What, doggy? He's like so bored, I guess. What? What? Uh, can't really do anything with him. Oh, shoot. <gasps> I don't have any. Oh, no. Okay. What do you use this? Reflex? Yeah. I have a reflex one. Adrenal amplifier. Oh. Strength. Yeah, have a have a strength gauntlet. Can you not? Oh, he can't have neural upgrades. Oh, he could do a wheel. Uh, plus two, three to thirteen. Hmm, okay. Sure. Alright. Make sure that's saved. Actually, we'll do Midnight. Is that where I am? I love the music in this place. It's so relaxing, Manon. What did I call it? It has a double. All right, I'm gonna fix it. Manon. Or no, Manon. Manon. It's okay, it's fine, I'm blind. Thank you, Grammy. Womanon! <laughs> the next planet we go to is the is the solar opposite of of Manon is Womanon. <laughs> Doggy, please! Please! Just let me play the video game. Please, he's like, you've been playing a video game too You long. Republic people are so pathetic <gasps> sitting around groaning <gasps> at the table scraps the Galactic Senators deign <gasps> to give you. It makes me sick. He's British, he's bad the guy! The Senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha! Don't make me laugh, you <laughs> It's the destiny of weak-minded fools like you to be ruled over by the strong, like we sit. <laughs> I'm warning you, don't push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. Try it. Just try it. I'd love to see you throw the first punch. And with all the cameras around, the Cellcath would be all over you inside of 30 seconds. You break their laws. You pay the price, Republic scum. But I can see that you're not man enough to back up your words anyway. If you ever feel like you're leaving <laughs> yourself of your worthless existence, feel free to come by heck? our enclave here. We have many. Many ways to fulfill your wish. 
<laughs> I mean, he's better dressed than the Republic soldier is, let's <sighs> be fair. Yeah, what are you... Oh, I apologize, Master Jedi. I should not have been rude. So who's controlling this planet right now? I can't tell. He looks like a jester. Let's be real. He looks like a jester. Yeah, right? Gutless simp. <laughs> you gutless simp. <laughs> but who are the Cellcath al allied with? Are the Cellcath allied with? Or are they like trying to be a neutral thing where like anybody who shows violence at all is punished? If it's the Sith or the, or the Alliance or what? I'll, are they neutral? Nice. Sith and Republic are guests. Okay. So guests may not punch each other. It's all right. No, really. I should apologize. I, I should try to control myself. As you Jedi do. Is there anything I can help you with? Why did the Sith... Dumb question. Why did the Sith accept you? Upset, accept you? Upset you so much. Also, that guy was like, so... Like, his insult is like, If you want to relieve yourself of your pathetic existence, come to the Enclave or we'll torture you to death. It's like, if I wanted to die, I'd just jump into the ocean or shoot myself with my blaster pistol. Not go to you and give you the satisfaction, you dingus. Why did the Sith accept you? Uh, upset you so much? Well, these damn Sith are everywhere on Manan, pushing us for public citizens around, trying to goad us into breaking the law somewhere. Breaking the law? Mm, why don't you run them off Manan? Yeah, there's nothing we can do, though. The Selkath want to maintain their neutrality, and they enforce it very strictly. So, we just have to sit here and let the Sith insult us, and we can't raise a hand against them. Otherwise, the Republic will face severe Colto export restrictions. And that could lose us the war altogether. Wow, so they're like literally coexisting on this planet. Abrath days! Uh, Rep and Imperial wants their culto, so they both play nice. Okay, okay. I don't know what culto is, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> You're joking. I right? literally live under a rock! Everyone knows what culto is. It's the most powerful healing agent in the <gasps> galaxy. I want some! I would have died several times myself if we didn't have this stuff handy. That's terrifying. But the reason it's important here is that Colto is only found naturally on Manan, and all of our attempts to synthesize it have failed miserably. So, we sit here on the surface, the Selkath harvesting what Colto bubbles up from the bottom of the ocean, and we buy it from them. Well, us and the Sith, of course. The Selkath don't want to play favorites. Don't want to play favorites. And they both stay here? The Selkath think that by staying neutral, they can play both sides, selling Colto to everyone that needs it, and making themselves ah. too valuable to be worth conquering. Well, that, and they threaten to destroy the only natural source of Colto on the planet if anyone tries to attack them. But I think they're underestimating the length the Sith will go to to get what they want. They're probably planning something already. I feel like, Is there anything else you I require? feel like, you know what this reminds me of? This music actually legitimately reminds me of the, um, Legend of Zelda... Uh, Twilight Princess water level. Let's see. Legend of Zelda. Twilight Princess. Water. Temple. Music. That's not it. Not the lake bed. Dang it. Oh, I can't find it. Oh, well. Getting eaten by alien sharks is a good way to kill yourself, or you could just shoot yourself in the head. That's probably a faster way to go. Have you seen <laughs> I just come right out the gate. Have you seen an ancient star map that will lead me to uh, something potentially Sith related? Jeez. A uh, star map? Like an ancient artifact or something? No, I'm, I'm sorry, I've never. I heard like it. this guy. Is there anything else I can I do? I like for this you? guy. He's a good man. Oh, I keep seeing the robots go back and forth, but the are they like? It probably looks like they're chasing each other. Oh man, I know, right? If only it was so easy. Hey, random dock person, where's the star map? And they're like, oh, it's right over here in this room. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. This makes saving the galaxy so much easier. I'm potentially corrupting me. I don't know. But, you know, it is what it is. Tell me about Ato City. Um, it's big. Real big. Actually, it's pretty much the only real city on the entire world. The only place for us air breathers, anyway. 
Manan is a water world, which you may have noticed on your way down to land here, inhabited natively by a species of fish people called the Selkath. They built Selkies. this city to cater to us off-worlders and as a base of operations to export Kolto, which is the only real thing they have to trade here. Selkies. They're Selkies. Why haven't they joined the Republic? The Selkath think that by staying neutral, oh, yeah. they can play... Well, that. But I think they're underestimating. Is there anything else you require? So, my purpose on this planet is to find out what the Sith are planning and stop it without getting the Republic in trouble. I must go. Of course. If you have any other questions, you should probably see Roland Wan. He's the Republic diplomat here. He's by the Republic Enclave near the visitor residences. Oh, if you don't know where that is, go He's north from so here, nice. then south past the port official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, then north, then east again. You yes. got that? Have a pleasant stay, Master Jedi. <laughs> I like that guy! <laughs> oh my gosh, you don't have a name, but I like you, Republic soldier. I like you. <laughs> Security droid. Let me, let me poke you. Beep, boop, boop. Are you a Selkie? with a lot of the aliens making them have like dual tones but like whoa opposite merman it is an opposite merman with a fish head and a man body no it's definitely not bangable you gotta have a more human face than that <laughs> oh everything's ruined tell me about Ato city here, you guys listen to him while I open my door so my dog stops just scratching it. He's gonna tell us all about the economy. I think let me see I don't have I have quite a few med packs but not a lot of advanced med packs let me buy oh what they only have one I thought it said infinite maybe not lame now we know why all mermaids go for humans all right they're like oh yeah we're good we're good thanks though I did like the cryoban ones. Those are good ones. I haven't really used any of the adrenal stimulants. I should probably use those. Thanks, my dude. I need a new headset. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll just change my headset because I need something different. Uh, when do I ever get attacked? Oh. I was like, when do I ever get attacked by Sonic? But it also gives me computer use plus four demolitions and security. I feel like that might be useful in this instance. Oh my gosh, I too have a Millennium Falcon stuck to my face. No. It actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> Let's be real. Can I, can Jody, Jolie really not wear one of these? Or no, he is. He's wearing... A red one. Okay. But you can't. Wisdom is great for force points. Okay. I guess I just feel like this might be useful for, like, sabotage. You know? 
for what I feel like we might have to do. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Excuse me, excuse me. Ford Prefect, welcome back. We've been playing, we've been playing, we've been playing the game for many hours. Am I like, wait, was this actually a door? Oh, it was, oh, okay then. I thought it wasn't a door. But yeah, we're finally on the fish planet after three and a half hours. And thank you all for watching. I was very excited to get to this planet, this planet. I didn't know I was looking forward to it as much because I didn't know it was a water planet, I think. Maybe I didn't, anyway, I was really excited for it. Water planets are my jam. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it and I hope to see you in the next one.